Hello everyone and welcome to Level 365's Mobile Connect app demo. Today I'm going to be walking through the ins and outs of our mobile app so that you can use it to the best of its ability. Let's get started. As you can see here, I already have it pulled up on the App Store. All we're going to do is hit the download button. This can say get or it can have a cloud icon with a downwards arrow or it can look in a variety of ways. But in any case, we're going to download it and once it's fully loaded, we're going to hit the open button. As you can see here, the login screen should appear. Here you're gonna type in your login name. This should have been emailed to you and an email with the subject line, your new phone system account from no reply at level365.com. Usually this looks like your extension number, at symbol, then your company domain. For example, my extension number is 1001, at symbol, level365.com. Then we're going to type in our password. Then hit the login button. As the screen loads, you're going to get a bunch of pop-ups, starting off with the notifications. If you would like to get phone calls sent to this phone, which I'm assuming you would, please hit the allow button. Next, it's going to ask if you would like level 365 to use Siri. If you hit the OK button, you can make calls using Siri saying, hey Siri, call Sarah with level 365. And it should load that screen for you. So this is totally a personal preference, but I'm gonna hit the OK button. Next is gonna ask if you like Level 365 to access your contacts. Again, this is totally a personal preference. I like to keep my business contacts separate from my personal contacts. So I'm gonna hit the do not allow button. But again, this is totally a personal preference. And then finally, it's gonna ask, is it okay if Level 365 accesses your microphone? In order for you to make phone calls and do recordings, you're gonna to have to hit the OK button. With that said, the first screen you see here is your contact screen. You should be able to scroll here and already have a bunch of contacts in there that are associated with your company. You can also add additional contacts with the plus button in the top right. And you can dial phone numbers here if they're not already in your contacts. Your screen may look a little different than mine. In the bottom right of every company contact, you'll see a small circle with a phone icon in it. If the circle is red, it means the user is on an active phone call or their phone is set to do not disturb. Whereas if it's green, they are not on an active call. If you see a circle to the bottom left of their contact photo with a messaging icon in it, it means they're active on the mobile or web app. And if you have a lot of contacts, of course, you can search through these. You can organize them by first name, last name, extension number, or online status or just view the contact through work or in your personal contacts. Moving on to voicemail, here you can see any voicemails that you have. As you can see here, I have one voicemail. A lot of times this will add a transcript for you so you can actually read what the voicemail says. You can press the play button here in order to listen to the voicemail. You can redial or call the contact back here. You can save the voicemail for future use. You can forward the call on to other contacts. You can see a little bit more information about the contact, like when it was placed, or send messages to that same contact. Or finally, you can delete it, hitting the trash icon in the bottom right corner. Moving on to chat and SMS. If your company has asked for SMS access, you should be able to send actual text messages or SMS messages to anybody using your business phone number, or you can also just chat people that also have Level 365 service that are within your company. Here, I can hit the writing icon in the bottom right corner, and I should be able to message to anyone in my contacts. Here, I can say whatever I need to. I can also send pictures and more. If you do want to send pictures, you just have to allow all pictures to be accessed through your mobile app. Then, you can hit the send button whenever. You can also call that same contact with the button up here or get a little bit more information about their contact or turn off notifications or delete the conversation as a whole. Moving on to call history. This is pretty self-explanatory. If you've made a lot of calls, you can scroll through this list and see all your previous call history. And finally, if you click the hamburger icon in the bottom right corner of your screen, you should get this small pop-up in the bottom of your screen. You should see your profile information here you can change any of it, or you can add additional pieces to it, like a status message or whatever's happening. You can also add answering rules. 
This means if you want simultaneous ring or your calls to be sent to your personal cell phone as well as your desk phone, you can make those changes right here. Next, you can add a greeting to this. This means that if you want to put up a voicemail greeting to say, hi, I am so-and-so, please leave me a voice message with your name and number. You can do that by clicking the plus button and recording your voicemail right here. You can also type in a message that you would like your voicemail to say through the web app. Finally, you can go into the settings right here. You can view a little bit more about the app or send us any feedback if you have any. Finally, you can log out. When you're waiting on a call, usually they'll look one of two ways, like this. Or if your phone's already open, it'll look like this. That's all I have for you guys today. And if you have any additional questions, please reach out to our support team via phone, email, or chat. Thanks and hope you have a great rest of your day.